everyone. In our last video, we learned about voiceovers and speeding up or slowing down video clips in the timeline. Our very last clip tricks that we'll try are adding video and audio effects. To apply an effect, you first have to choose the clip that you want to apply the effect to. So I'm actually going to choose one of these drone images. You can choose any, anything that appeals to you. Now, if I apply the effects right here in my browser, that will change the original, and I'd rather not do that. So the best thing to do is to either find the clip if it's already in your timeline, or press the plus or E key to add it to your timeline. But you can see that clip is right here. Next, you go up to the three circle icon above your viewer and click on it. A two dialog boxes will appear, one that says clip filter and another that says audio effect. We're going to start with clip filters and these are simply effects for your footage. If you click on the box that says none, another box will appear that shows you the 30 effects that you can apply to your footage and you can actually slide your cursor over each effect and see it applied in the viewer. You can actually click on the effect to apply it. You won't see the effect in your browser, but you will see it in your timeline. But let's say you decide you'd like to change or eliminate the effect. There's actually three different ways that you could eliminate it. and you're probably understanding now that there's many ways to do the exact same thing. You could quite easily press Command Z. And let's get that back. You could also go up to your clip filter and where it says negative, the effect that you have, click on it and change to another or to none. Or you could go up to Edit, Undo, Add Video Effect. So the same approach can be used if you click on the Audio Effects box. So once again, we click on those circles and we see the audio effects here. If you click on it, well, once again, you have to choose a clip first. So in this situation, we are adding audio effects and we really don't have too much audio in our file, so this is easier said than done. The um, clip I'm going to choose is actually, if I turn on information, called image or IMG 2329. And I'm going to add that to my timeline because once again, I don't want to add an effect to my original file. So I'll click the plus since it's not in our timeline at this point. So what, what we're hearing is obviously the drone flying. Let's go back up to the effects and go to audio effects and a dialog box will appear. Now I can add a lot of different things and once again I can apply them by going over them with my cursor so it's a little loud but I'm quickly <laughs> going to choose robot and you'll hear what that sounds like that really magnifies the sound so I'm going to press command Z to delete it and I'm back to the drone sound. Um, another thing I'd like to point out is that if I want to put that drone sound under some other clips that don't have sound at the moment, I can drag a clip underneath like so and the sound will appear underneath the clips. And I can apply that clip sound to any other clip that I'd like to. So for instance, this clip. So that's just another real quick trick that you can use. So 
These are the final clip tricks we have time to cover in editing and engineering. Use your time now to apply some of the various clip tricks we've covered to make your own movie of the drone activity story. And we'll cover how we share our video when it's completed in our final video. Thank you.